when you go faster than light, there is only darkness. And that was said by Sonic the Hodgehedge. Hello, uh, this is a live gameplay demonstration between myself, Hippie, playing as TKS on Geysa, against Strom, playing as Second Panzer, obviously. Um, sadly, Strom has fallen prey to the Steel Drone 2 I'm Weak bullshit, and now calls himself a very bad player. I wish him a speedy recovery, but from what I've been told, the condition is fatal. So what are we going to do here? We've got the good side, which is nice, but uh, this is really not the map TKS wants to be on, so it is going to be pretty tough. He does get his own forward deployment, but he will struggle against helicopters in the first couple of minutes of the game. He can try and shoot them down with like a tornado or something, but we're going to go double roll in three, and we should hope and pray that we can uh, intercept him. So we're going to buy a couple AMXs just to try and stop him from getting uh, to here and here at the start. So that's what the AMXs are for. And um, yeah, we get a, a couple, couple aeromobiles. Uh, although I do think that he will get here before we do, regardless of what we attempt. However, the big girl squad does start further forward, so we'll try that. What's the plan for the game? I get into his zone at the same time he does, so uh, yeah, just sit on our arsehole game, try and defend. Uh, what can you do? I play lots of divisions, Strom plays one division. <laughs> uh, TKS obviously not, not considered too meta, but we do what we can, and uh, let's see how it goes. So one CV purchase, couple of rolling threes. Uh, but uh, yeah, sorry to hear about his condition. He's contracted the steel dronitis. I'm weak, I'm weak, I'm weak, etc, etc, etc. I didn't know he was a steel division player, but alas, learn something new every day. And I hope everybody in the comment section joins me in wishing Strom a speedy recovery. So, uh, we're going to struggle somewhat against uh, masses of Marders and shit. So, the P4 Milans can be quite useful against that. And we don't need too many Fliegerfest. The one, the one that we've got is probably sufficient simply because Second Panzer doesn't get good. Good helos, so yeah, uh, P formal and there, P formal and there. They run out of ammo really quickly. Uh, supply cost is quite cheap, so we can put them there. And then uh, yeah, we're gonna gonna have a tough time here at the start, but it is what it is. And I'm confident that if we buy yes another aim, <laughs> we can uh, we can get to here, try and stop him on that front. So, that about does it for the deployment. Um, might get rid of one P4 Milan so I can buy some additional uh, squishy infantry. So, you know, Zikarungs for, for the left. But yeah, we will struggle against the Leopard 1 Marder spam in the open. That will be quite difficult to deal with. But we do what we can. And uh, yeah, good luck, have fun. Strom ranked 12th on the ladder. I believe currently I'm ranked 14th. We'll see how that develops over the course of the game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, map's two inches wide, so not much to talk about there. Green berries will get here at the same time as his FS Jäger. Just got to watch out for the, the initial air, and I don't know which side he'll send it on. But you always want the Rolands together. Uh, just so you know. And, um... Yeah. Can he even shoot from there? Might want to put him here so that he can shoot across this. And instead of the Zikrungs, we could get an M40A1. They're really useful. Because if you put one here, it can shoot everybody coming down this road. 
with 17 pen accuracy is not great but... so yes yeah, so we will do that instead uh, I just bought the same thing again <laughs> so yeah set up and camp uh, camp like our life depends on it and he will attack in waves of leopard ones etc so yeah good luck have fun I've been getting too big for my boots lately my rank I've come back into the first page of the ranked leaderboard and uh, you know now it's time for that to end so if not here then somewhere else but I do intend to try hard just waiting on Strom right so we are now playing we are now playing the game and I look forward to playing the game all the players of the game are going towards their gameplay positions and yeah I think he'll rush this or this I mean he has to the secondary opportunity for him is to uh attack at like five minutes with about 20 leopard ones which he can do and we will struggle to stop that with our current deployment but yeah uh i reckon the gazelle cannons can tear up vehicles coming down this road and if he tries to send a plane well the rollins are on the wrong side so so we do have that to concern ourselves with so there's the plane uh, two Gina rockets, and it is a bit laggy, but uh, that's what playing against Strong is like, sadly. Just gotta deal with that. Uh, this has been hit by the Gina rockets, which is very sad. It is still in the field. And yeah, then we can uh, start shooting people. Our guys survived, which is great news. Uh, Harriet AA, probably coming for the gazelle cannons. I'm not sure why I unloaded the... Just uh, change altitude. Land even. No, never mind, we don't have to land. And yeah, he's forced to unload in the open here. Uh, Roland's doing their job. Fantastic. This guy didn't cap the back zone. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't spend enough time in here, so I've, I've now lost my principal advantage. But uh, well, we do what we can, don't we? So, yeah, always cool to get loads of Milans and shit. And uh, he's really going to struggle now, basically. <laughs> this is all there is to it. Whoa, okay. I'm not sure if we'll get out in time. How does he still see me? He doesn't. And yeah, we're now in the zone. Could do with a bit of arty party, but uh, sometimes better not to. And yeah, we bought that for back here. We'll buy a gazelle cannon for the right in case he tries something on the right. That's bad. Uh, so yeah, he's got somebody over there. That's just how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so there you go. A uh, really long game, really long game against the nineteenth uh, best player in the game. So I am actually ahead of him now. I'm fourteenth, and yeah, he just sort of messed up the messed up his deployment. So um, yeah, don't don't leave yet. We'll check the replay. Let's drag this out a little bit. Don't want to upload a two minute and fifty four second game. But uh, yeah, we had the good side, and his deployment didn't work out too well. Like, the Genas didn't really pay for themselves. Um, well, one of them got an AMX, actually, so maybe they did. But then AMX, 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 and then that saw the end of it. So yeah, 14 APM. Um, TKS meta? TKS meta? Question mark? TKS meta? But let's check the replay real quick. And I do believe he said GG at the end there. I saw something come up before. Before he resigned. Yeah, so let's check his deployment. And, uh, yeah, so uh, the deployment time was eight minutes. He took a long time to figure out what he wanted to do. Um, so, yeah, that was us talking at the start. He had the Bopar out. 
Recon Heli, couple Flieger Faust, um, but Flieger Faust were on the wrong side, right? So he's uh, let's let's talk strategy real quick. So he didn't buy a CV because he wanted to rush his zone. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So if this if I haven't already said this, this map's hilariously imbalanced towards the red side um, because I get to his zone, Charlie, at the same time he does. Like so, he'll get to about here at the same time I get to here. But it's his zone, so that's a bit odd, right? And so he didn't buy a CV so that so that he could try desperately to push me out of the zone right at the start. Uh, which, in my opinion, was a mistake. I think he should have done like a five-minute timing attack with 20 million Leopard 1s instead. But as it stands, you know, he had uh, Fern Scharfschutzer over here for to stop flanking plays. Uh, FS Jäger there... That's Milan 2 there. FS Jäger here. Um, so yeah, he was going for this building and and this side. But um, yeah, the, the issue he has is that, that the weight of his push, the main axis of his push is on this side, but his AA, his Fliegerfaust, are on this side, and he doesn't get forward deployed AA. So he had he instead bought a bunch of Genas at the start, and um, and yeah, so so main axis of the attack here, but AA over here, and he sort of tried a small attack over here as well. He should have just gone all in on Charlie if he was going to do this, uh, all in on one side if he was going to do this. But as it stands, I need to stop saying that. Um, yeah, here come the Genas, and he's he found my BGS, but they that some of them survive, like one of them survive or something. But he didn't get the gazelle cannons, which are the important part. So he shot down these guys, but that doesn't matter because the gazelle cannons killed his FS. This guy couldn't find them because I landed them and then the Rollins killed him. And then we've just got line of AMXs and um, and yeah, it's a tough gig. You know, we're in his zone. I forgot to cap this one. I just didn't leave it in there long enough because I did path it into it. And at the end, you see that, you know, he's not got a CV. Well, he's got one out now, but he missed this. So he's missed his plus three. He's going straight to the plus two. So he'd have to buy another one or go back. And I'm plus, I'm about to be plus nine. And you can see that he's basically got nothing here. So he could have tried to rebuild and push back, but he, uh, he instead opted to GG, which is fair enough, really, under these circumstances. Because all I would have done is just bought more P4 Milans. Like, I've got some here, so we can't use this. I uh, would have put some more here. I would have put some more here. Uh, you know, a bunch of cheap tanks behind. So that as soon as he attacks, I move him up and shoot and go back. So that's why he resigned. Good game, well played. Sorry, it's a short one today. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just too good.